I'm Anthony Valeri, Director of Investment Management in Wealth and Fiduciary Services. The midterm elections are right around the corner and it's going to be a close election. It's certainly going to be much closer than at the start of the summer when Republicans were expected to take both the House and the Senate. Re probability markets have now moved to show that the Democrats will likely maintain the Senate while the Republicans will take the House. You can see, however, that the probabilities are still relatively close. Anything can happen, but it will be a close election. So what does that mean for the stock market? What does it mean for financial markets? Well, almost nothing. Going back to our mantra of profits over politics, it's going to be about earnings, the economy, and Fed policy that ultimately drive the stock market. You can see that stock market performance under a variety of political regimes has been fairly strong across the board. On the left, you'll see that a Republican Senate, Democratic House, and Republican President has been the strongest, but there's little difference over the next three regimes as we move to the right. And again, that reiterates our profits over politics and the fact that whoever's in power in Washington does not represent the main driver to the stock market. Only a Democratic Congress and Republican president has seen below average returns over that period. One bright note for investors in what's been a difficult year is that equity market performance following the midterms has historically been strong. For the 12 months after a midterm, the S&P 500 has been up on average 16%, very strong returns. You'll also note, looking at this just chart, that performance has never been negative in any of those 12 month periods. So certainly a strong precedent as we approach the end of the year. So if politics won't have an impact, what will be the main driver for the stock market? Well, it's earnings. This has historically been the key driver for the stock market. The stock market is represented by the S&P 500 here, has a very close tie to earnings represented by the gold line. You can see they move very closely, and though they deviate over short periods of time over the long term, they remain tightly correlated. Since 1960, the average earnings growth has been 7.1, whereas the S&P 500 has returned 7.2% annually. By the way, economic growth over that time period has averaged 3%. So it's really about earnings. And the uncertainty over earnings over 2022 and 2023, which those estimates have come down, will likely keep the stock market volatile over the near term. Until we get more clarity on earnings, it will still be choppy in the equity market. But ultimately, it will be earnings that determine the trajectory of the stock market and not the midterm elections. I'm Anthony Valeri. Thanks for listening. We'll speak to you again soon.